Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at Maxwell Jacob Friedman, the youngest and fastest rising star in the history of professional wrestling, and you will have the distinct privilege of getting to follow me wherever I go, which is pretty wild considering none of you, and I mean none of you, will ever, ever be able to live out your wildest dreams just like MJF does. So, it's day one here of WrestleMania week. I have eight shows, uh, which isn't shocking because I'm the most in-demand professional wrestler of all time. Uh, I plan on having the best match on all these shows. I plan on being the most entertaining part of all these shows. But really sometimes, I don't even know why I'm using the word plan. It just happens organically. So uh, let's get the show on the road, baby. I got three shows today. Uh, starting off right here with Independent TV. Uh, I will be making an appearance here. I can't tell you exactly what I'm gonna do. You guys will see. You're welcome. A little inside exclusive here. Uh, after that, I'm gonna be getting in a uh, uh, stretched out black limousine and I will be going to the MLW TV taping where I will be wrestling um, Brian Pillman Jr. who is a hack and his father's rolling in his grave because his son is dog shit and then after that I will be coming back here to crappy dollar store White Eagle Hall in the worst state of all time being New Jersey it actually smells like farts here everywhere and then I will be in a match for all uh, sorry, uh, AIW, where I will be teaming with Ethan Page, who is fat, but we are going to have to try to get along tonight against Colt Cabana, and uh, there's somebody else in this match, but I can't remember the name, so I just guess I don't care. But how about me and you go title for title yeah. and prove who the true king of the independence really is? Okay. <laughs> uh, no. Hungry. I've had to deal with so many disgusting poor people, I, I can't even count. Yeah. Yeah. 20, I'll take it. Luckily, some of these disgusting meat wads have Purell. And that is, that is a godsend. So I started off the day at Family Reunion. I beat up Orange Cassidy. I made my point, I'm gonna be the next independent TV champion. After that, I hop in an Uber XL, and I go to MLW. I have to wrestle two matches, you see that? One, not one, no, two. First I had to wrestle that loser, Brian Pillman Jr. Um, I don't even want to get into that. The kid is talentless and his father's probably rolling in his grave. And then uh, the next person I had to wrestle was like a three man ta tag, it was a tables match. Uh, Teddy Hart was in it, which means I was covered in glitter and I looked like I just went to a strip club, uh, which I didn't mind. And then uh, after that, uh, I uh, had to stroll back down to New Jersey in stupid, stupid, stupid amount of traffic for AIW, where I had to team with Ethan Page, who, uh, let's just say, is uh, more than undesirable, against Colt Cabana, who's not my dad, and um, Space Monkey, who's not a real monkey. And I don't understand why everybody's just like, oh my god, look, it's, a mon it's not a real monkey. Get over it. And then, uh, yeah, uh, today we are here at WrestleCon for uh, US vs. The World, where I will be wrestling my tag partner from last night, uh, who is fat and unathletic. And uh, I'm going to prove to the world that America is 10 times better than Canada. And uh, Putin sucks. <laughs> Clean, smack dab in the middle of the ring, no shenanigans, because I'm better than him, and he knows it. We are day three. I am, honestly, I'm sick of all these cretins. I am trying my best to keep it together. Uh, yesterday, I was at US vs. The World at WrestleCon. Can we have some quiet, please? I went over to MLW uh, TV taping because I am a star uh, for Major League Wrestling's Battle Riot. I did not win the Battle Riot because Brian Pillman Jr. once again had a uh, very fluke victory 
and was able to somehow, by the grace of God or the devil, I don't know whose side he's on, uh, win the matchup and eliminate me. But now we are here, and I'm sure you are wondering, MJF, why are you in such pedestrian clothing? First of all, this is a Create a Pro tank top, okay? And it probably costs more than your house. Second of all, I am here to play a game of dodgeball. Uh, I am here at Orange Cassidy's stupid show. I don't know why he booked me because we are bitter enemies, but he is paying me handsomely, which is also weird. Uh, I'm obviously going to win dodgeball because I was an All-American in dodgeball as a freshman in high school. So this should be easy sailing. <laughs> I am so done. Um, last night the show started late because Ring of Honor ran late. Uh, for Joey Janela's Spring Break Part Two. Um, went in there with a game plan. Had a little costume on. Blended in with the Cretans. Shocked everyone. Beat up Brendan uh, from Weedus, who's a total geek. Uh, then he came out, he had a knife on, a lot of people don't realize that, he had a knife on him. That's the only reason why he was able to give me a stunner, it's because I was terrified for my life. And uh, then he actually stabbed me in order to get me over to the top rope, so I jumped over myself, just to clarify. And uh, that was my night, and that was my WrestleMania week. It was incredibly eventful. I would like to say thank you for joining me on this journey, but I truly don't care. Ta-ta.